The mobile application data is like the glue that connects all its functions. But what's the best way to store them? Well, it depends. We can store our data in two ways, locally on the device or externally on the server. But the truth is there are very few applications that only use one solution. Let's consider where to store the data depending on its type. Data necessary for the functioning of our application. There are many questions that we need to ask ourselves first before making a great decision. Do you want your application to be partially functional when user loses reception? Or how is the server supposed to know that the user is logged in? Should the application reset the settings each time it's opened? Looking at these examples, we can think about the storage of authentication tokens, user preferences, or caching the necessary data. These are not all types of data, and not every application needs all of them. So it's good to consider what is essential for your business. Quick access data. It's not a secret that locally stored data can be accessed instantly. Therefore, when your application needs speed, it's best to keep the data on the device. Levels in the game or airline tickets are good examples in that case. It would be frustrating to wait for the level to load on a bus. And imagine the stress of standing in front of the gates waiting for the tickets to show up. Data that must be available. Sometimes it's not about speed, but the availability of data itself. The worst thing is when the user wants to check something important, but can't access it. An example would be a contact list or an archive of a text chat with someone. It would not be practical to keep such things on a server and have limited access to them. Now let's look at another solution. Server data storage would work better in the following scenarios. Large amounts of data. Although the amount of space on phones increases every year, it is still associated with a higher device price. Therefore, if we need large amounts of data, it's better not to keep them locally, where there's probably not enough space anyway. Perhaps the most famous example of the user's big data is the photo library. We can store small thumbnails locally, and only when the user selects one of them, we download the selected file from the server and display the full version. You just have to remember that in this case of storing large amounts of data on the server, access to them depends on the user's internet connection. Data that must be up to date. If you want your application to have the most up to date data, you should keep it online. In that way, each user will know about every changes that are introduced to the database. If you operate in the e-commerce industry, this solution is tailored to your needs. It will let your clients know what things are available for purchase. Sensitive data. It is a common practice not to store sensitive data unless necessary. But if you really need them, it's safest to keep them encrypted on a secure server. If you don't need to access sensitive data in the offline mode, the server is usually a much safer place to store them than the user's phone. A mobile device can be lost or stolen and so can the information stored on it. But as I said, unless you really need to, don't ask the user for sensitive data. As we can see, the boundary between the decision of whether storing data locally or on the server is very thin. It depends heavily on what your application would be used for. So, it's worth asking yourself a few questions before deciding. Should it be kept up to date? How large is our data? Should the data be available all the time? Does the app need quick access to the data? Answering them will definitely help in deciding where it's best to keep your data. Hopefully our explanation of what we mean by it depends in this case answers this question. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next IT Depends episode.